If you want to start your own business or just something of your own and have no idea what it is you'd like to pursue or perhaps you just have so many different ideas and are struggling to commit to just one, then today is your lucky day because I will be showing you exactly the three step process that I followed and that led me to discovering what is now Charisma, which is more than just my business, but really a passion project, something I love doing with so much passion. And by the end of this video, you're also going to learn a framework that I've developed so you can consistently come up with ideas, but not just any ideas, ideas that you really and truly aligned with. Because at the end of the day, starting a business is really tough. It's like a never ending marathon. In order to make it long term, in order to make something that is really sustainable to finally reach success, you need to find something that you really love doing and that you really are aligned with. And without further ado, the three steps that we're going to be covering are explore, identify, and commit. And the very first step, which some of you may have already started, honestly, we have started this step already from the moment we landed on this earth, is to explore. Right here, we have our perspectives, our horizons, let's say. These are all the things that we know about the world that we live in. And obviously, we don't know what we don't know. Sometimes you may be very lucky and based on the information around the world that you currently have, you may already find something right along these lines. But the goal in step number one is to really expand those horizons as much as you possibly can to really find something that can be truly transformational and something that's really aligned with yourself. The idea is to take in as many perspectives as possible to really step out of your comfort zone to then be able to find something here that can really suit exactly you. Most of the time we're just growing up in our own little bubbles, talking to the same people and watching content that reaffirms our beliefs. But if we are just like everybody else, it's gonna be really hard to find something that's going to add value and that's going to be unique in this world. So what can you do? Well, you can start by reading different books, talking to different people, exploring different kinds of events, meetups, workshops, you can also get an internship or a job at a company that does something that excites you. But for me personally, the thing that was most, that had the biggest impact in me in the shortest amount of time was traveling. Back in 2019, I spent three months in Brazil and then another three months in Australia and Southeast Asia. And that experience really gave me a glimpse of what life really could be like. I was meeting people from all over the world. I was meeting entrepreneurs, backpackers, hippies, digital nomads, and just apart from gaining so many different perspectives on life, it allowed me to really compare these different ones and identify the ones that really were suitable for myself. It allowed me to understand what it is that I really loved, what I didn't love, and just better understand myself more deeply. Which leads to step number two. Step number two may actually be the most important step of them all. Here, it is very important to first think about the destination and then find the vehicle that will take you to that specific destination. But you may be like, Mark, I still don't know the destination. I still don't know the idea, and that's okay. Right now, in step number one, we have really expanded the horizons. Now it's time to find a part within this horizon that is really aligned with yourself. And so the questions you want to ask yourself are, what's my ideal lifestyle? What am I good at? What am I not good at? What are the things I like doing? What do I not like doing? And so for myself, when I did go on those adventures and started traveling, it became very, very clear to me that what I really loved was community, travel, personal growth, and I was a kid, always very interested in architecture, so I was very passionate about providing experiences through real estate. I really got that from staying in many different places, seeing different kinds of cultures. And so these are the four main pillars that I knew for myself. But you can also think about whether you want stability or not, whether you want to be locally based somewhere or working remotely. These things, right? Without really thinking about what it is you'd like to do, just by setting these boundaries, it's going to help you set a general sense of direction. I really think it is very important because when you think about, you know, what is your purpose in life? Having a purpose means having something to aim towards. So to know where to go, you first need to have a destination that will give you that clarity 
on where to go next. So that's kind of what you gotta be doing. Just really narrowing down the different options that are really out there. Now that you've done this, and I encourage you to pause this video, to really write it down. Once you do that, we're ready to step number three, which is to commit. You may be thinking, what the hell am I gonna commit to? If you really are serious about finding something you're really, really passionate about, you need to start by committing. Because most of the time, people think that they need to have everything figured out to be able to launch, when the reality is that you need to launch slash take action in order to figure things out. And I may seem like someone who has everything figured out when the reality is that I am still figuring things out a year after having launched my business. And many times I even feel lost, overwhelmed, so many different things, and that's totally okay. But the first thing you gotta do is do that first step. For me personally, I remember uh, being in Dublin. Uh, that's where I had my first job. I was doing tech sales. And I was living with two very inspiring people. And I remember doing a late night conversation with one of my friends specifically, who's a crazy entrepreneur. So much respect for this guy. He was like, Mark, just pick something within the spectrum. You already know you wanna provide experiences to real estate that encourage community, that encourage travel, and all these sorts of things. Just pick something and see where it takes you. And super randomly, I decided to go with a surf camp in Portugal made out of shipping containers. That was just an idea, right? I was shit at surfing, I had never lived in Portugal, and this construction method that he knew about, I was like, okay, like I have no idea about this either, but let's see where this takes me. And during this process, I was constantly setting new hypotheses, setting new questions, reaching out to people within the surfing industry, reading academic papers, doing all these sorts of things. And it may seem like a lot of work, but calm down, take it easy. If you really are serious about this, take 30 minutes after work, take one hour after work, no rush. For me, it took me two months of just researching every single day until finally one day I set one hypothesis, hypothesis that would lead to that final answer, which was, what if I put an office or some sort of co-working space in the surf camp so people can stay longer and we also attract digital nomads and remote workers, which is something that's currently booming. One of the first things I did was call one of my best friends, Javi, who's a surfer, he was staying in Costa Rica, and I told him about the idea. It's very important to always bounce around ideas, get good feedback, negative feedback, all sorts of feedback. And I shared with him the idea, I was like, Mark, I'm staying in the exact same place you're describing right now. It's called Selena. In that very same moment, I just typed down in the internet, selena.com, blah, blah, and then it just popped up there, Colib. I clicked on there, and that's when I came across Colibin. And my mind was forever blown because it had exactly the things I really, really loved. Community, travel, personal growth, real estate. Obviously, there's many other things, and getting to this point was a massive milestone. I felt like, wow, I'm done here. I'm ready to retire. I'm ready to go. I'm already set. When the reality is that once you have found that idea, you've only gotten to base camp. The real race is now just beginning. And that's exactly what I'll be covering in a future video. Not just how you can find an idea that's really meaningful to yourself, but how you can actually launch your idea and turn that into reality. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to subscribe down below. I'm sharing every single week a new video, either sharing the amazing talents and skills from the people in the community that I'm building, or just generally sharing the lessons, the ups and downs of my entrepreneurial journey of how I built my dream business, Charisma. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.